The Harrison County Board of Education today needs to get off my lawn. You're fired. Last week, we applauded five girls from Lincoln Middle School in West Virginia for refusing to throw shot put against a boy. Well, this week, the Harrison County Board of Education banned those girls from their track and field team. So this board, in a nutshell, won't block boys from girls sports, but they'll block girls from girls sports. Make it make sense. Don't worry, though. The ACLU made us all proud when they came to the defense of these young ladies. Please, Justine, bring up the uh, statement from the American Civil Liberties Union. We don't have anything from them. Nothing from the ACLU? Okay, well, how about ESPN? Surely they had uh, an article or a segment about this discrimination. Sorry, nothing from them either. All right, well, I know without a doubt that there is an outcry from Megan Rapino, the biggest defender of women's sports that I know. Nope, couldn't find anything for that. Nothing from Megan Rapino either? I guess the gender pay gap is more real than just gender by itself. The good news, though, for everyone as disgusted as I, is that West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey is suing the Harrison County Board of Education. But when we all ask the question, why? Why won't more women and young girls stand up for their sports and their locker rooms? This is why. Because they are targeted and kicked off their own teams, which is why this takes all of us. Speak up, speak out, and if you feel like you're on an island by yourself, call in and share your story with us at Crane & Company. 1-855-236-3228. And in the meantime, the Harrison County Board of Education can just get off my lawn. Nice, David. Yeah, nice. Get out of here. <laughs> How does this happen in West Virginia? In West like, Virginia. <laughs> if this happened in, like, Vermont, Maine, Yeah, New Hampshire. Or, like, you know, like, New York or something, I'd be like, I'm not shocked. West Virginia? What? <laughs> what? They burn couches out there. Like, how does, I don't, <clears throat> that's the part. How is anybody on that board still on that board? Mm -hmm. Like, how is there not, <clears throat> excuse me, as I choke to death, how is there not people just walking up with pitchforks and torches? Like, this, this can't stand. Uh, that's the part that shocked me the that's most. That's always been the problem, right? Kind of since this started. and uh, Not enough women uh, are representing girls and women in protecting their sports. Mm -hmm. And we have the same conversation, I feel like, every day about it. I don't know what's going to have to happen for this to stop. I mean, if they, one, sue the hell out of these people. Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm suing you in every way I know. Two, if there's no backing, like, if there's no backing of these girls quitting sports, like, they will let them fall away to the wayside. They'll let them go. Like, somebody, I know we have yeah. Riley Gaines and certain people, but it... it, it like, more women are need, gonna need to stand up or this will happen. We've just been told for so long that protesting for a cause that you believe in in sports is not only good, but it's mandatory. Like, you, you should always do that. But then when these girls protest, you know, I mean, not, uh, they didn't do anything that I would see as even disrespectful. I mean, more or less like causing a scene or anything. They went up there, didn't actually throw the shot put and just handed it to the next competitor, you know. How's that any different than going and raising your fist at the Olympics? And those guys have statues built after them. Yeah. So to me, it doesn't seem like, oh, well, it's only if you protest the right things. Yeah, that, that's exactly what it is, David. I mean, it's, we see that in every walk of life. It just depends on, you know, what you're protesting or what side you're on. I mean, it's, I, I, I'm to the point now, man, like we, we talk about this all the time. We made a movie about this with Lady Ballers. And I wish it would just get fixed so we didn't have to talk about it anymore. It's really like the only political thing, which... You know, in my opinion, it's not even political. It's a safety thing that we talk about on here. But this is, at this point, um, it, it's pretty disheartening, man. Like, it's, it's pretty disheartening that we've reached a point where this is, this is allowed to happen, where we've reached a point where, I, I mean, people are just afraid. I mean, they're, they're cowards. I mean, from school boards to the Megan Rapinos. And I feel like we're one of the only, like, I, why isn't Pat McAfee talking about this mm. Why isn't There's some of question. these other people like well, that have a voice, not just women? Why, why aren't anybody else talking about it? But you know, again, it's just something I guess we're gonna have to keep combating. What's up, YouTube? Hey, do us a favor, man. You're stopping by, hit that subscribe button. We'd really, really appreciate it. If you want to turn that notification bell on, it lets you know whenever we drop content and the sports world never stops spinning. So you might as well come walk with us.